Heavy smoke ascending from the Bridgeport Row Homes fire flames seen inside. Charquandra Walker describing her worst nightmare now a reality. And I, I just got tired and broke up with him. Like I ain't want to be with him no more. I ain't want to carry that burden no more on me. I want to come back home to my mom and my daughter. And he going to do this to me. Now, the mail threw a into the house, fires rolling their way. The peaceful night was shattered by the piercing sound of breaking glass and a woman's terrified screams, followed by the deafening roar of flames engulfing an apartment in Bridgeport Homes. At exactly 2.30 a.m. on a balmy Saturday in June 2024, an unknown assailant threw an incendiary device through the window, starting a devastating fire that claimed the life of a beloved grandmother and injured her granddaughter. Witnesses reported that the victim, Charnette Walker, had been engaged in a heated argument with a well-known troublemaker from their neighborhood just before the attack. In a fit of rage, he hurled two Molotov cocktail-style devices into the apartment before fleeing through an alleyway. As brave firefighters fought to control the raging inferno, concerned neighbors Nova Miles and Jay Sean Owens rushed to help those trapped inside. Despite their valiant efforts, they were only able to save the young granddaughter who was found hiding in the second floor bathroom. Tragically, they were unable to reach Walker due to her fragile condition. Described as a caring and kind woman who treated everyone in the community like family, Walker was highly respected within her tight-knit neighborhood. However, some neighbors also noted her stern demeanor and intolerance for disrespect. In the aftermath of this senseless act of violence, the entire community mourned the loss of Sean, as she was affectionately known. And while authorities continue their search for the heartless perpetrator, one thing is certain. This close community will never forget the tragedy that claimed their beloved neighbor. This is the heartbreaking story of Charnette Walker, a determined 54-year-old fighter who persevered through endless challenges with unwavering hope. Despite facing numerous struggles, she remained fiercely dedicated to her passions and loved ones. One such passion was skating, which she used as both exercise and a way to connect with others. Her social media posts documenting her journey inspired many. But above all, she cherished being a grandmother. Living with her daughter, Chaquandra, an adored grandchild, Charnette took on the role of caregiver and protector with unconditional love. She cherished her granddaughter more than anything in the world, and this love radiated until her last moments. Sadly, Charnette's selflessness towards her family ultimately led to her tragic death. Welcome to No Tears for Black Girls. In a vengeful act over a dispute about a hotel bill, Chaquandra's ex-boyfriend Cordell Nichols set fire to their home. Faced with flames engulfing the house, Charnette's final act was one of bravery and selflessness as she urged neighbors to save her granddaughter before succumbing to the fire herself. Despite her mother Charnette's disapproval, Chaquandra never felt the need to apologize for her career in the adult entertainment industry. In fact, she proudly displayed it on her social media accounts as a means of supporting herself and her children. Her tumultuous relationship with 37-year-old Cordell Nichols was fueled by fiery passion, yet haunted by unrelenting struggles. On June 14, 2024, during a stay at a hotel, their tumultuous relationship reached its breaking point over an argument about the bill. Instead of de-escalating the situation, Nichols chose to retaliate in a heinous way. He gathered materials to make a Molotov cocktail and hurled it into the home of Chakwandra's mother at 2.30 a.m. on June 15th. The house quickly became engulfed in flames, and while neighbors were able to save Chakwandra's daughter, they couldn't rescue Charnette, who tragically lost her life in the fire. This senseless act of violence over a petty argument took the life of a devoted mother and grandmother, leaving a community shattered and demanding justice. In the aftermath, Chaquandra and her daughter are left homeless, with Chaquandra suffering from third-degree burns that require extensive physical and mental therapy. This situation, 
is beyond devastating. A petty argument should never have escalated to such a horrific outcome. Nichols's bitter hatred towards Walker led to an unforgivable act of violence, leaving her family to grieve and pick up the pieces. As they struggle to come to terms with this unimaginable loss and prepare to say goodbye to Charnette, let us keep them in our thoughts and prayers, especially her brave granddaughter, who is fighting to recover from this tragedy. Rest in peace, Charnette Walker. Your strength, love, and selflessness will forever be remembered. Thank you for tuning in to No Tears for Black Girls. This series is skillfully crafted by acclaimed writer and producer, John Reedberg, with the guidance of unapologetic host, Samantha Paul. Catch new episodes every Tuesday and Thursday on all major podcast platforms. You can listen anywhere, anytime. And if you truly enjoy our content, please leave a five-star rating and positive review. Remember to stay loved, stay blessed, and stay safe.